is ours. Whoa, Rick, our Grimstone. Now, the journey continues with a silver adventure box. Two. Okay, all right. We made two jumps. Three. Okay, that's three spikes done. All right, that's not the way. And yet, it's, you notice we're basic. Oh, God, there's another explosive thing there. Almost missed it. You notice this is basically like we're under the maze we were above earlier. Okay, so this is kind of nasty. There's a little boulder here that we can jump on. And we got to land. Ugh, like that. Then go through like that. Almost done, guys. Last jump. Ugh. Okay, good, good. I think we got it. Loads of explosive things here. And now we come to something else that's quite special. Now, listen. Hold on. How can we best do this? What if we drop the bomb? What if we place a bomb here? I don't know. That didn't work. Hold on. So basically, guys, where we're currently stood is actually quite a new update to the game. I think this came in in 2016. A lot later. No, that didn't work. A lot later. There we go. That's it. Um, than the other content. And uh, this is basically a, a release that was added to Super Adventure... My God, look at all of that over there. To the Super Adventure box after Guild Halls were added to the regular MMO. So if you don't know, the Guild Hall system lets you get decorations and furniture... Uh, to spice it up and make it look however you like. Uh, however you most prefer, right? Well, when Guild Halls came to the game, they decided to update Super Adventure Box to give us what they call furniture shops. And that's what this is. There's a fancy proprietor here who says, use my coins to beautify your guild. So we won't actually use these yet. You can search up on my channel if you like to see what... Uh, these can buy you. But basically, this is a currency for guild halls out in real Tyria. So we can come over and we can grab the coins. It sounds just like picking up coins in Super Mario. And uh, basically, as we adventure, some of these secret rooms are going to give us those. And they're really good, by the way. The decorations, the Super Adventure Box re uh, related decorations are fantastic. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it now. The question is, how do we get out alive? We only have one life left. Oh, God. And look at the tiny little jumps we have to make here. We instantly die if we touch any of these spikes. We can't walk through them. We can't do any of that. There we go. We managed to make that jump, so that's good. Uh, now round over here, maybe? Oh, God. Another explosive. Okay, that one's done. Can we get out, please? Oh, no. Over here? Is this right? Where even am I now? Is this the way out? I think we must be near the way out now. Yeah, there it is. Last spikes. Yeah, we made it out. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Usually, I just quit out of the zone when I do that. I don't keep playing. Okay, cool. So, great. Uh, that's the furniture shop. Again, a hidden bombed cave. Uh, we could have waited even longer till we had a light source, but we can fumble around a little bit like Pokemon Red and Blue. I know you all did it where you're in the cave and you you don't have the HM flash yet. So you you basically do it purely by muscle memory or whatever, right? Uh, yeah, we've all been there. So um, yeah, okay. All right, next next one. There, there's, a, there's a, I think one more on this zone. One more. So we'll have a quick look. Yeah, okay, so on the last checkpoint, just round here, in this corner. Voila, we get another bomb spot. And a single little bauble in this nice hidden little cave here, worth another 10. So that's good. And you can see, kind of see how the bombs almost pay for themselves as well, just by unlocking all this extra stuff, as long as you sort of know where it is. Uh, and there you go, that's the end of the level. Um, and I think I've now shown you everything that's hidden on this level altogether, except... If you do the super hard mode, tribulation mode, there's another furniture shop underneath us about here. This floor becomes fake and you fall down here and you like traverse some lava passageways and you eventually get that. Maybe eventually I'll show you that. But uh, but yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Um, I guess I'll just get some more baubles from this shop here and then I'll see you all in a second. Alright then, straight away returning to the start of zone 2. Again, there's more stuff that we've unlocked via the backtrack. So remember, right, we had the waterfall where we had this dig spot. Did we already get this before daily? No, no, we didn't, so we can get that again. Basically, you can dig one of these up every day, right? Um, and because I'm playing right around midnight right now, shh, look, my sleep schedule's fine, don't judge me. Because I'm doing that, basically... Um, I can, I can re-grab it because it's, it fell on either side of 12 o'clock there. All right, so yeah, anyway, there's another there's another place we can bomb. Straight here in the ground. 
Get this nice little pit here with a cool rays of light shining down. Not too much here except a single thing and we just jump straight back on out. So there it's like you spend one to get a bot to throw a bomb, you get four back uh, you get five back, so a net gain of four or something, I guess you can consider that. Uh, but yeah, alright, so uh, spooky section, not too bad. We just hang to the right. Yeah, good. Okay, we get through that. That's not a problem there. Um, and then we get this field area that I probably spent way too long today running around in. Um, we're just going to charge on through. There are obviously the chests and things. Maybe some of them I could, have, could grab again a second time. We'll go through here. I love these kinds of logs, man. Yeah, it reminds me. Logs like this. I don't know if anyone ever played, but for the Mega Drive, okay, there was a game, uh, Mickey Mouse and the Castle of Illusion, maybe it was? One of the Mickey Mouse co-op games for the Mega Drive, though, right? Like, the early levels were basically what this level's like, and... Nearly any, not just Super Adventure Books, but any game I ever play, if I ever get an opportunity to walk through a fallen down like tree log or whatever like that, always think of that game. I've got like this real primal, like early childhood memory in me of that specific area of that specific game. And oh, always get so nostalgic. All right, and we're back. So this is literally where Shortcut Worm was, remember? Uh, we jumped from there. So this time though, let's not take Shortcut Worm. And let's instead just go on a bit of an exploration. So first of all, we can climb up. Uh, once again, I don't think you have to come high up in the trees for this one, but I will show you. I also don't even know whether there's many chests or anything up here. <gasps> Almost got hit by the coconut by doubling up on ourselves there, which wouldn't have been good. We can't quite get onto that leaf, but I think that's just the angle I was going for. I think if instead we start on this branch and then we try to go on the leaf, we'll be good. Let's throw you a bomb at this monkey. And deal with him. Yeah, it's not nice when people throw stuff at you, is it? You stupid monkey. <laughs> Throwing stuff. Get you in trouble, that will. Uh, what about over here, by the way? Man, doing this with you guys has got me playing different areas of SAB that I haven't done for so long. Is there even a way over there, maybe? Basically, I'm talking about over on this. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe when we go a level higher. I think, yeah, I think when we go a level higher, we can get over there. For now, though, I think our only option really is to move on to this plateau. <clears throat> with a snake on it, so we can take that snake out. Don't have to worry about him too much. We get a thing. He drops some cheese as well. I, I, I will never get uh, bored of seeing enemies get being destroyed and dropping cheese. Like the idea that there's a snake out there that just loves a little bit of Gorman bear. Yeah, that's uh, pretty funny to me. All right, okay, so let's keep climbing. We got a we got a mushroom. We can climb up here. Let's do this. Oh my god, we're getting really quite high now, guys. Really quite high. I guess the only reason you'd want to come back is to get kill creatures for baubles for the bauble achievement. I never mentioned either, by the way, but there is totally a uh, an achievement. We could even climb around all over those. Wow. Is there any point in this, though? Is there any point coming all the way over here? I don't know whether there's any secrets for that. That's, like, so far away, guys. That's a totally different area. In fact, wait, what is that over there? These spiders just wandering around. I kind of want to go check that out. Honestly, what is this area here? What is this area here? I don't remember this existing. Hello? Sorry? Excuse me? Are there any chests or anything nearby? There might even be a chest, like, in this general area. Maybe not. Maybe that's an old chest. But what is this? What? I have no memory of this. Oh, my God. They're also dangerous as well. There's so many spiders. This is super creepy. I almost missed this completely. Oh my god, we're gonna die as well. We need to like come over here, drink some potions. So like we're right out on the edge of the the, the level geometry here on this. Look at this. We're like behind the level. This this, this can't be right. But they've spot, spawned loads of creatures here. I mean, this is the magic of SAB, I guess, right? It's always constantly surprising you with stuff you never knew existed. Is this a berserk thing by any chance? Oh, it's stealth. Oh, look, even just as I was saying that stealth was very rarely, if ever, useful in SAB. Here it is. There's a reason to use it. My god. But how do we get out now? <laughs> is it possible? Is it possible to escape the spider pit? We climb up here? 
This is honestly so far off the beaten track of the level. I don't even know what to tell you. There, I see it. There's a hidden mushroom. No, no, no. Come on, man. Come on. I thought it was just stealth. I guess it runs out much quicker than I uh, anticipated there. Is there anything back here as well? No, I guess not. All right, fine. All right, up. Let me get out. I must have been here before, though, because I do have the bauble achievement. So, there we go. We can make that. And then, oh, hold on. Maybe it's over there. Oh, Jesus. Wow, what, what, what a story. We're not even in the in the same checkpoint anymore. We're back at the same checkpoint that I've spent hours at today. Jesus. And I guess your only route of getting here is the direction we came from, though, because you have to be really high up to get onto these. Huh. Well, there you have it. We've got to go all the way back down to the turtles now. That's great. Fine. We'll return. I'll see you guys all in a second. Let's, let's get back up over there. May as well dig in this as well while we're at it, too. Oh, okay, this one hasn't respawned because I got this one after 12 o'clock, it seems. Okay, so that, 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 that one's a no-go. Um, so actually, let's stay on the forest floor here, all right? Because there is another big uh, thing. We've got to drink some potions. So now with our potions and with our bombs, we got another mini boss we can fight, another queen that we can fight. But now that we've got these extra upgrades, I'm a lot more confident about having to deal with it. It just depends if I can get there. So it's obviously not in that corner. Oh, God, snake, please no. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay, it's over in this corner. <clears throat> so, hidden behind this branch. Not quite as well hidden as the shortcut worm, obviously. But this, this this one isn't meant to be that well hidden. The shortcut worm is, like, super cheesy and good for getting through the levels. So, obviously, they don't want it, just about anyone to get it. They want really good jumpers and explorers to be able to get it. And that's basically what it was for. Okay, so, we have two potions left. And by coming up here, again, guys, if we had been watching closely, we would have seen some flowers and we would have seen some bees collecting pollen for them, from them, and then coming to this area, okay? But here it is. And we've got her. So I am just going to stand back here throwing bombs at her because now, as long as we're in range to actually hit them, as long as you stay at range, the main thing she will do is do the spit thing. And as long as you're far enough away, the bees move slow enough that you can, like, serpentine around them and, like, kite away from them. The thing is, if you're trying to break the honeycomb for currency, like, if you have to throw 30 bombs at her to kill her, I don't know how many bombs this actually is. I'm not going to throw anymore. We don't need it anymore. All right, so let's just wait for her next attack. Wait for it. Okay, and now we're going to dodge forwards through her, and then we're going to attack her. And hopefully we should get her into... Oh, my God, really? She started immediately? Uh, but, you know, if you're going to just throw a ton of bombs... No! We died anyway! How? Oh, that's so unfair. All right, it's okay. We're still on zero lives. It's fine. Well, I'll see you guys uh, back in a second. Damn it! We're so well geared now. All right, I'm back for vengeance. We were two hits away from beating her. Two hits! Damn it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I don't know. It, it depends on you, uh, on how much you feel you need. Uh, it, uh, you want to save, like, currency-wise. Maybe you're only doing this because you want the achievement for doing it. It's up to you, really. Um, I guess if you're playing multiplayer as well, you can just let other people throw the bombs and save your own. Or you could... Uh, kind of all gang up on it. I don't think that their health actually scales. Some of the stuff does scale in Super Adventure Box. Um, like checkpoints, for example. You can't just have one person do it. Now Now to get through a checkpoint, everybody needs to get there together. So it is like a collaborative process. Like there's a whole other world of figuring out how best to make this co-op and fun. Um, but generally it's pretty fun co-op. You don't feel bad for doing it co-op, I don't think. The other one's like chests, right? Like, you know, you gotta get the key to open the chests. If you play co-op, everyone needs a key. So it suddenly gets a lot harder because people actually start having to use the shops for keys a bit more. They have to start um, uh, uh, basically killing as many creatures as possible to make sure you can get as many keys. Because the monkey will only drop one, for example. So then you need some more and you need some more. So there is another thing here, by the way. If we're sneaky enough, if you come up here, most of you will think, Oh, we killed the boss. That's it. The main event is over. But if you climb on these leaves, you can get all the way up this tree. And this is a really weird area. Most of the time, strange little jumping sections like this, you come back to in, in tribulation mode. And so people know about them. But this chest here, this is like really out of the way. Like not many people will climb up on these. But this chest, and for that reason, you get 50 baubles for this one. For knowing that after killing the boss in the, in the sneaky little boss area, there's something more you can do. 
Um, but yeah, so there you go. That's it. Uh, that's the next bee dog. I do want to kill all of those. We, we will be seeing each of them. Uh, so there you go. You get that, and we can come back out into sort of the regular area again. Hold on. What's over here? This is always one of the areas of the levels that I feel so like... I get really lost. I guess the idea is you're meant to get lost, right? Because it's supposed to be a forest. But I always completely lose my positioning. Like, I can't quite tell you right now which was the way back. I think this is the way back. And the way forward is over here. But I couldn't actually tell you 100%. I really couldn't. So, wait, what was over here then, around this corner? Yeah, see, I almost got turned around here. Right, okay, so we'll get on this and kill this monkey on this log. Oh, I tried to uh, use a skill we don't have unlocked just yet. So let's kill him. Okay, and we get another shop. Now, there's actually two things here. First of all, there's the shop. Let's go in here. Hello, Mr. Shopkeeper. How are you doing? He says, at last, a customer. I'm eager for your business. Well, I'm eager for your baubles. I don't actually know whether I want to buy anything. Maybe some more potions? Should we buy some more? Okay, so here. Oh, I don't know when this happened. Look, we have 250 baubles now, okay? And when I smash stuff, you'll see we're stuck at 250 baubles. 250 baubles is our current cap. Now, you saw I went over the, that cap before by doing the, like, gimmicky trade bauble bubble thing. Um... Why is it all baubles, by the way? I'm not actually sure if that's a reference or something. You saw I went over the cap, but generally speaking, it's 250. So we need to be able to increase that cap quite quickly. So in the meantime, I'm going to buy a ton of, ton of um, potions again. All right, there we go. We're full up. Maybe I could buy a life as well. I do want to show you what it looks like to use a continue coin. So we'll buy a life so that we're, we're back up there. And uh, yeah, all right, I guess as well, Mr. Shop... Oh, actually, I was going to say I was going to let him keep his stuff. But now that we've spent some stuff, I guess we'll, we'll smash some uh, things again and get our, our money back. So there you go. We're, we're, we're all feeling good again. Maybe I should have come here before trying to fight the bee. Hmm. Well, anyway, so there you go. Uh, that's one. Then also over here, this corner, we find another... Uh, room that we can bomb open. This one's probably the sneakiest one we've seen so far. Like, how are you supposed to know that this is here? Again, I know that they're here because I've done it before and I have Taco reminding me right now. Um, but how are people supposed to know this? I don't know, man. Because uh, there's a shop there, so you wouldn't expect them to put one. There's not much of a lighting thing. Maybe, maybe there's a bit of a lighting thing. Anyway, big reward for it. Ton of baubles. And uh, that's, this is actually kind of a cool place to get a lot of baubles as well because you're right next to the shop. And maybe if you haven't bought the um, whip or anything yet, uh, then you can grab those. And that's the little topper upper that you need right before the end. Okay, so anyway, if you look now, we've explored as far as we can into the forest. But where do we go from here? There's like a ramp, but it's just like a solid wall and we can't climb that. All the way up there, you'll notice there is a thing to release a mushroom. And so, this is the first time that we are forced to go back up into the treetops. Which is uh, where we basically started before getting distracted and then going to get a crazy spider thing. <laughs> uh, the spider room, we guess, I, uh, I guess we will ignore the spider room this time. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go back inside a thing. I'm wondering if there's anything else on the floor here. Uh, that shortcut worm behind there. Alright, we just got to climb up. That, that's, that's all it is. Let's just climb up. I think we've got and seen everything on the floor. Um, so yeah. Oh god, we got the speed boost. We're jumping through the leaves with the speed boost. This is like... I'm scared I'm going to like overshoot or undershoot something now because of this. Alright, so instead of going to the spiders, this is where we saw we, we climbed to before. We'll go this way. We get a choice. We can go up that bouncer. Or we can come down here and come up this bouncer. Which would be the new thing. And then with this, we can come back into... Look at this hollow log we were in before. I should have looked up and shown you there was more to do, guys. All right, but now, yeah, we're really high. We really don't want to fall now. This would be really annoying to go all the way back down to the bottom. So we come up here, and we're right up at the top. Look at that. Zooming the camera all the way out. Okay. Um, snip onto this. What else have we got? Yeah, and monkeys can hit... This is We're in the domain of the monkeys right now, guys. There's a key over there. Wow. I guess we don't want we don't need to worry about that key. We might find a chest and ignore it. Look, as long as we've seen the keys and we've seen the chest, it's okay. But with so many baubles near near the cap right now, like it's not that important. Now we can jump over there. I happen to know we can make that jump because that's what you gotta do in tribulation mode. But uh, I don't think that's so important for us now. Oh my god, we almost failed. Did you see that? Oh god, this isn't actually good now. I thought I could get onto that leaf. Oh, I don't 
don't like it, guys. I don't like it. This doesn't feel good. Please, Bract, you can make it. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, it probably would have been easier to do that other climb over there near that monkey. All right, get away. And there you can see the checkpoint just off to the side. Let's take that monkey out. Um, moving over here. Onto this. That's the shop that we were at earlier in the, in the special bomb room. And uh, voila, I think with that, we should have made it. So let's just quickly drop down and hit that to create a checkpoint. Again, if we were playing multiplayer, I could do that. And then my friends who don't want to do the actual platforming bit. That's probably the, the longest stretch of platforming we are asked to do so far in SAB. Uh, if they don't want to do it now, then they can have that. And we get the checkpoint and voila. Now, when you hit that checkpoint, you're going to bounce up into the sky like this. If you can hover to the left... You can come over onto this wall and drop onto this. And once again, you see the little bit of rubble? Well, it's not a bomb spot, but it is a dig spot. And you get another 20 baubles from that. So, nice little bonus there. And, uh, yeah, there's probably a way to climb around along this to get there anyway. Yeah, so you don't you don't need to rely on the thing. I just nearly always do. And, uh, yeah, we'll jump down. Uh, we get another, another shop here. So, let's see. Oh, what's this guy says? He says, this water tastes improper. <laughs> I love, like... <laughs> What is the description for this kind of weird, half-broken English? Oh, he drank it and died. He fell over. Oh, my God. I don't remember that being a thing. Wow. Uh, what, what's, like, the word to describe that, like? Almost, I mean, it's just a weird form of English, isn't it? All right, so the shopkeeper <laughs> who should have been here appears to be dead now. Um, nonetheless, we can claim... A candle from his shop. We don't even have to buy this. So the candle creates light and heat. Now we miss this candle if we use shortcut worm, right? Because it skips you past this whole part of the level. Uh, but that candle will be important for later. So candle lights up the dark areas and we can even swing it. And we're, Oh, I missed the animation for you. But if you swing it, it, you can burn stuff. So there we burned the rug down that was on the middle of the floor. If you rewind, you'll see the little rug was there. So uh, yeah, we got the candle. That's pretty good. Breaking this, we can get more health. We're at max baubles, so I'll leave his stuff alone. I do want to give you guys a bit of trivia, though, guys. You see these books? If I put the candle away by re-equipping the bomb, we won't light him up. So can you see this? There's actually new Crichton on the spine. Written on the spine, even the green one. You can translate that. I do have the translations here. So these are the books that you find in the stores, okay? Um, so the first one, the red book... This says Princess Mia is not Moto, which is really weird. So Princess Mia being the princess, Moto being the guy that made it, that they're not the same. Some kind of weird conspiracy theory. You'll also notice the names Mia, Moto, and obviously that being a reference to the famed uh, Nintendo video game designer of Donkey Kong, of F-Zero, of Mario, and so on fame. The blue book is called Why Moto is Great. <laughs> Why Moto is great is this book. And lastly, the green one. This says, avoid the genie. Avoid the genie. Now, remember that for much later in this series, guys. Much later in the series, but avoid the genie. So that's pretty interesting. There's also finally this book. This, uh, oh, there are some books. I think this one's green, but sometimes you find a, uh, what is it? There, there, there's one more book. Uh, I think it is this green one, actually. If you uh, look inside it, you can actually see there's a bit of text. And um, you can get basically a bit of insight. So the green one here, yeah, says avoid the genie. But looking at this text here, you can translate this. And it says, as you can see, they are totally different people on the left page. And on the right page, it says, this is clearly not Moto in a wig and a dress. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll let you, I guess I'll just let you guys decide what you think of that theory there. Uh, also, I'm going to take this table with me because I fancy going on an adventure with a table. Come at me. So there you go. We nick a candle and a table from a shop. Let's keep on moving. Uh, so yeah, this point, this, this water is not good. If we fall in it, we take damage. We get poisoned, so it's not good. And you remember the lily pads from earlier. It wasn't so punishing earlier, but the game's already taught us. You, you, you jump on these and they fall away. So there's two directions we can go. We can go across or we can go to the right. Let's go to the right. And voila, we get the barrel here, which gives us food. So the food is kind of like... It heals us up, but then the risk that you take to get there, I don't know. It's kind of like in games where you go for a big secret and the reward for the secret is a health pack, which you're probably just going to use to cover your exploration of having got to the secret, you know. Uh, so anyway, you got that. Uh, let's throw this down for a second and get our bombs back out. Because if I throw a bomb in the middle of the water, 
you'll notice that you can blow it open here. You can destroy this hole. You can create this hole here and drain all the water away altogether. And there were some even some dead fish flopping around in there. There's some piranha you may have just seen. We'll see plenty of piranha later, guys. Uh, so yeah, this is another hidden secret uh, furniture shop. So this was added after guild halls were added to the game. Uh, basically, guys, whenever you find a furniture shop, you can kind of consider these to be some of the most recent things to have come to Super Adventure Box. Uh, they were the last big substantial update that came into it. So yeah, you uh, can grab all of the coins here. Obviously, all this stuff we're climbing around on is destructible. So if you destroy too much of it, you will uh, hurt yourself. And yeah, this guy just says, use my coins to beautify your guild. He looks great, right? You look very fancy, mate. But what are you doing in a horrible, grim, gross, poisoned looking cave? I don't know. But okay, so there you go. That's a, that's a cool little one. And it actually makes this section of the game a little bit easier. You can just throw the bomb from the first shore and not have to risk it at all. You don't have to try the lily pads. You can just go on straight through. Interesting that they despawn the lily pads as well here. I bet most people who bomb this down and drain it don't realize that the lily pads have disappeared afterwards, but they totally have. All right, so there you got that. Getting quite close to the end of the uh, zone now, guys. Once again, we get the choice of forest floor or treetops. I guess I'll start us off on the treetops because, I don't know, I feel like the road less traveled is the road with more loot. <laughs> Pithy, I know, <laughs> but I really I really do often feel like that that like basically defines the way I play games always do the more difficult thing because there's probably something that they've done that makes it worth your time um, But from what I see here actually, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's not much here uh, Actually, this is the way we have to go because if we come down onto the floor We have some oh, I haven't whipped anything look I'll whip this spider for you all. Okay. He evaded it whip There you go so you can stun him, and he's got his little stun animation. <gasps> Ow! And if you just keep spamming the whip on people, you can keep them perma-locked like that. And again, if you're playing multiplayer, now someone else can just run over and kill it in their leisure. I should remember to whip things. I'd love it if the whip basically like put vulnerability out too, which is a mechanic in the regular game that means that things take more damage. So it'd be cool if when you whipped someone while they were stunned, they were vulnerable. There's actually a, a term specifically for that uh, when you break a break bar. But hey, I get off topic. All right, so uh, yeah, you'll notice there's another abyss and we we obviously have to be... Oh God, this spider's going to knock us in the pit there. We obviously have to be in the treetops there. Interesting little bonus though, if you're very, very sneaky and careful, you can come down here and you'll notice that there's, there's this here, okay? And there's also these roots. So, oh, I messed it up straight away. Damn it. The roots have got uh, are hiding something major. So I'll, I'll be back in a second. Right. Let's try doing a curve jump. There we go. Easy. Easy. Look, I know what I'm doing. We'll do this jump here. So having done the curve jump, now we can walk all the way over here. I swear, this would best be what I think it is. Yeah, look, 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 it's over there. There's the door. The secret door, guys. It's over there. The ultimate secret. Can we make it to that now, I wonder? I'm going to try. Ah! Oh, so close. Hold on. Let's try and go down a different way. Let's try... What about landing on that down there? Okay, so we got that one. I'm going to try a different route. Oh, here we go. This route actually looks... Oh, is it good? Is this a good route? Maybe. Try from there. Oh, we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to do a banana jump. No, so close. Oh, that's what those are called, guys. Banana jump. Seriously. There we go. Oh, it's so easy. It's such an easy banana jump as well. There you go. That's the route. That's good. That was pretty smooth. That was pretty good, guys. All right. Okay. So here we go. Sneaky, sneaky room. I'll point out, by the way, that Taco, my overlay, doesn't even remind me of this. So this is like uh, possibly not worthwhile coming to very much here. But we get this sneaky room. There's lots of furniture we can destroy. Obviously, no reason to. It's just because we're an utter barbarian. Um, is there, is there, what's the reason for this room? I can't even remember. I just remember that it exists. Oh, here you go. Baubles. Boom. 50 baubles up here, which we don't even, sorry, 20. But still, that's a lot of baubles. 20 baubles, uh, for a hidden room. 
And uh, yeah, I guess that was totally worth the, the five minutes of my life to die a couple of times and get here. The couple of potions. Now now there's the question of how do we get out safely? Ugh, we, we don't. We, ba we bang our head and we die. Great. So anyway, there you go. That's, uh, that's another secret that's there. Uh, quite an underwhelming one, actually, maybe. Since it basically just leads to baubles, but hey, a sneaky room nonetheless, and uh, pretty cool to show off. Right, okay, so yes, as uh, as we now know, we've got to get up high, right? So, let's jump on this. This is the last section that the shortcut... Look at how much the shortcut worm actually moved us through, right? Also, take note of how much enormously bigger this, what, this zone has been compared to zone one. <laughs> Um, zone 1 was quite a long video just because we had the hub going on at the same time, right? And just a ton of different basic things to explain. But uh, this has been a long video as well. And it's been almost... Well, I don't know. We did a bit of backtracking. We've done a bit of backtracking. So... The fact that it takes us about an hour to go through maybe isn't so crazy. It's really weird because... And I bet a lot of you guys, those of you experienced who are watching me do this... Um, I guess now we can just drop down safely. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. A lot of you guys experience... This is a dig spot. Um, might have done this already, right? Or you will have if you're experienced. And, uh, it, I have this thing, right, where I always, once I, oh, are you serious? Are you serious? I'm trying to tell a story. What? He just instantly nuked us. Did we get hit by three? How was my health that low? Oh, my God. Let's try this again. Those of you experienced might have a thing that I have a lot, which is once I beat something once, I really like the more time that passes since I first did it the more I, like, diminish how difficult it was or how long it all took. So, like, if you've already beat the SAV once, you probably have an opinion, or I tend to have the opinion, right? This is a little dick spot. I don't know why I'm doing this. That it's, like, not that long, right? The fact that this has taken me well over an hour to do Zone 2. I'd never think it actually had that much content that it took that long. But then you actually sit down, you go back to basics, you redo the whole thing, and all of a sudden you remember, wow, it does actually take ages. Back-to-back -to -back dig spots here, by the way, guys. Back-to-back. -back. Look at that. So many baubles, which we have absolutely no need for whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, we do get a ton. So, yeah, I, I, I always have that uh, experience, right? And I, I wonder whether anyone watching this feels the same way in the... Um, you know, you forget just how much of an adventure there was to be had. You forget just how much there was going on. I mean, the thing is, right, like, once you've learned it the first time, most people are just going to zoom through. And especially with, like, all the account binding and stuff. Not that there is much account binding in SAB, which I really enjoy. Here we'll go the other route, by the way, uh, to get up to the boss. So we'll go this way. Um, like, you tend to just get through stuff quicker. But if you really just force yourself to go back to basics, you can kind of have... Uh, these really long experiences again and just remember what it was like and if we were playing multiplayer you can imagine like it all takes that much longer because other people take longer to get through stuff and you discuss things and you're hunting around and rubbaging and trying to find stuff anyway here's betty bauble with this level and she says i already found all the baubles why haven't you the sneering woman uh we're gonna go this way oh no no, no we're not gonna go this way oh god we're gonna die we're not going to die. We'll be fine. We're going to come onto this rock, okay? And we're going to bomb the bottom of the tree tree chunk here. Boom. Sneaky, sneaky. Under the boss platform, it's another new furniture shop. We're going to drink a potion there as well. Uh, with another fancy guy. Look at him. Oh, my God. So fancy. Can someone, like, cosplay this at PAX or something? That would be amazing, guys. Do it. Do it now. It would be brilliant. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a woman? From the front, it looks like a man. Doesn't it? That looks like a man. But from the back, you can clearly see it's like... I mean, he's wearing... I suppose it could be a man with lovely hair and a purple hairband and earrings. <laughs> I thought it was a dude. I seriously did. I thought he was in, like, stately attire. All right, well, whatever. Maybe maybe we're supposed to think that. Maybe that's a, a, a bigger part of the Moto and Mia conspiracy. All right, okay. Um, I think that's it now. We just get back up somehow. Don't you instantly kill me. I've got bombs and all kinds of weapons in my arsenal now. All right, there we go. We got that. Couple more baubles. Picked up for absolutely no reason. And it's okay, Mr. Shopkeeper. We will save you again. Here you go. Actually, I'll tell you what. I should have come up here. I should have busted this down. And then after we got the furniture shop, we could have come up straight away again. And that, my friends, is 100% clear of Zone 2 and Zone 1 now. For all the upgrades we currently have in the game. I also... Uh, I might be forgetting. But I, I don't think there's any reason for us to ever come back to this level here, by the way. I, I, I don't think there's any more backtracking we need to do. I don't think we'll get any other upgrades later on that 
the like unlock something further here. I think that's it. There will be other different aspects of backtracking, but not to this level. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the what was this? The spooky woods, the spooky forest. I don't remember what's. It doesn't even say anywhere. I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope you agreed. Uh, enjoyed Zone Two. Look at the title of the video for it. I'm sure I've got it on there. And voila. <laughs> That leaves us now with a candle, a whip, a bomb that we can throw or place, and a shovel with a ton of potions and a full stack of baubles to get through into the next zone, which is actually kind of difficult. The next zone is the final zone that was originally added on that original April Fools all that time ago. Uh, and the next zone as well is the end of world one uh, So it should be pretty exciting the boss at the end is very different. It's once again a bigger level There's once again a lot more secrets and interesting stuff to uh, check out So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching next time We enter the kingdom of fungus where tales are told of a terrifying tyrant <laughs>